I'm Joe Zimmerman. I've been involved in the dairy all my life for 54 years. When milk comes from the cow, it goes to the bulk tank where it is cooled down to below 40 degrees. It is kept there for two days where a truck picks up the milk and transports it to the processing plant. The transport truck is insulated so the milk temperature stays cold at the facility where it is received. It is commingled with other milk. After they receive it at the plant, it would be homogenized and it would also be pasteurized to kill bacteria and homogenization would keep the fat particles suspended in the milk. From the processing plant then, it, it is packaged into containers that would have the, the product label on them and the refrigeration is very important. It is kept refrigerated as it's transported to grocery stores where it goes on the shelf. At that point in time, the customer can pick it up and take it home. This is how milk goes from cow to the refrigerator in Harper, Kansas. It takes a lot of steps. It might not be the very best way or the most sustainable way. These are questions we must continue to ask, but it gets there, reliably and safely. In many countries, food security and the efficiency of food systems are bigger issues. They aren't just about walking to a fridge or driving to a grocery store. If these systems aren't in place, it can lead to people going hungry and farmers not having places to sell their products. Mennonite Economic Development Associates works to right food security through repairing food systems, enhancing productivity through market linkages and access to capital for farmers and entrepreneurs in places like Ethiopia, Ukraine, Pakistan, and Tajikistan. Policy change might be something to hope for, but the work that Mita does has real impact on people's lives, creating more effective food systems and making sure that products get from farmer to consumer efficiently and effectively.